Welcome to MLB The Show 17. It's time to play some Diamond Dynasty. My name is Mr. Hurricane, and I have a team created here, but I'm not sure I'll end up actually using this color scheme or the name, the Minnesota Polar Bears. Just had to get something ready to go so I can jump into this year's version of the mode. Now, today we're going to open some packs and get this Welcome team created. Here's your chance to draft your team's five best players. For your first pick, select a middle infielder. Okay, I didn't know this is how Diamond Dynasty begins this year, but this is actually pretty cool. So I get to pick, looks like, six players or five players plus a stadium. Now, I went through the four players here, and I'm going to go with uh, Danny Echevarria. I had to go and look up how to pronounce that, but he has a good blend of contact, good fielding, vision, a little bit of speed. I was going to go with Pena, but I figured we don't have much power or speed, so that contact might go to... Not as much use. So let's go with Echevarria. And now corner infielders. Let's get some third base power here. Joey Gallo. Now in the outfield, I want some speed here. And I'm not getting a lot of it. There's Max Kepler from the Twins. Michael Taylor gives me the best speed and a pretty good arm, but not much for hitting. I think I'll go with Michael Taylor anyway. He's got the best blend of skills here for me. Now starting pitcher. Now it's... On this one, we're going to go with the lefty Scott Cashmere. We're going to go with Boone Logan, who has that 90k per 9. Let's go to Coors Field. Now, to speed things up, we will draft the rest of your roster for you. What? No, I want to draft the rest of my roster. I'm not sure I trust you. Who's this we? I only heard one of you. Here we go. Scott Cashmere, Tyler Naquin, Pedro Alvarez. Now, if I do any uh, wrong things here with the pronunciation, I'm sorry. I'm getting back into baseball, and hopefully we'll learn a lot more of these names. But I got Echeverria down, I think. So here's my team right now. We're in the mid-70s, pretty much. Eddie Rosario out there in left. So here is our initial roster, and a 48 overall pitcher is a thing? What do your ratings have to be to be a 48? 36 hits per 9, 33K per 9... This isn't good. Alright, so it's time to fill out this roster a bit now. I have some pre-order packs. I have five standards, plus a 10-pack standard bundle with a silver card topper, and then the Rookie Griffey pre-order bonus. So let's just go with that here. The Rookie Series, Ken Griffey Jr. And he's an 81 overall. Not bad. 84 speed. We have 73 contact to righty, 62 power. I'm sure I'll use that until uh, my team gets a little bit better. All right, so what do we get here? First pack of the game, basically. We have the silver sponsorship here, 10,000 per home run bonus. We get main straight field, Jose Alvarez, Brad Ziegler. Not much in this first pack. Pack number two. We're going with the old hickory bat there, Oak Street Park. Joe Nathan! Joe Nathan's still playing? I didn't even know that. Man, a 45 overall is a thing. I still can't get over these 40s. Now, I just overlooked the fact during all of that when I was focused on the Joe Nathan card that I did get my first silver, Yimi Garcia. So I have an 80 overall reliever. Let's see the ratings. What do we have? Ooh, I like the K per 9 at 82. We have 86 break. So uh, I think I like using him. What does he got? A slider and a changeup? Nope. Okay, I guess the slider is the main pitch to worry about then. All right, third pack now. Already won silver. What do we got here? Wilmer Flores. We have Dustin Garneau. This one, not so much. Not a bad ritual right there at all. Then Carson Smith. Is that a decent pull here? I have two silver relievers. So not the most impactful cards, but at least some high overalls. Give me some silver bats, though. We got to score some runs. We go with a 77, Trevor Bauer. We have Jorge De La Rosa. And not much. Can I get some hitters, please? Eduardo Nunez. That's what I'm talking about. Now, he was on my last year's Diamond Dynasty team, so I would like to get some new faces, and that was my topper here. So I got 10 more packs still, but Eduardo Nunez was the uh, topper for us. Come on, give me something I haven't had before that's pretty good. Not in this pack. 
Hey, Dustin Pedroia got my first gold. 86 contact to righties, 87 vision. I'll take that. Not a bad pull here. That's, I'm happy with this now. Not a whole lot in this one. And again, this one's kind of disappointing. Lots of pitchers. I have enough pitchers. Joe Mauer's on the team. Five packs remaining. What do we have today? Santiago Casilla. I'm getting good relievers. Our bullpen's going to be good, and that's great because we have, like, nothing for starting pitching. We're going to be using a lot of relievers at this point. Four packs left. Now, we go and get some shoes. We get Taiwan Walker. And Zach Greinke. Okay, a gold starting pitcher. Is this going well for me? Is this going well? I got a couple golds, got a couple silvers. I'm happy with that. The topper wasn't even a gold, so I feel like the golds are all basically like playing with house money. What do we got? Oh, there we go. Hisashi Iwakuma. I'll take that. We're getting pretty good pitchers now. Got a couple good starters. Got plenty in the bullpen now. Two more packs. Come on. Can you throw a diamond my way? I haven't had a diamond before. Gonna have to be in the last pack. Do we get the diamond in Diamond Dynasty or not? I don't think so. Jeff Locke. And Junior Lake to end it. But overall, not bad. 15 packs there. Got myself a handful of silvers, two golds. I'm happy with that. So here's how the team looks now. And this doesn't seem too bad for day one on Diamond Dynasty. Rotation goes Zach Granke, Isashi Iwakuma, Scott Cashmere, Trevor Bauer, and Jesse Han? Han? Not sure. Lineup, Eduardo Nunez, Tyler Naquin, Dustin Pedroia, Pedro Alvarez, Mike Napoli, Josh Reddick, Wilmer Flores, Cameron Rupp, and then uh, pitcher spot. So I'm not sure this team has much power yet, but I'm not going to complain so far with the team looking how it is now. So now that we have a team and we're sitting at 77 overall, our best attribute is our pitching, Worst is power, which, not too surprising, we didn't get many power bats in this. But we have some contact hitters, so let's see how this team looks. So, four ways to play it here, or at least four, but you guys know that I'm a big fan of Conquest mode, and I didn't complete it last year. I really want to this time around, and it looks pretty much the same. So, we're sitting here basically in the same spot as last year as well. And... Let's go and, uh, I guess we're going to go for, I'm not sure who I want to go for. I mean, the Twins are the weakest team there. I went at them the last time I did this. So we're going to begin here playing against the Twins. Let's go. Let's just start off on veteran difficulty here. All right, so we get Scott Cashmere on the mound, and I have a Danny Echeverria in the game along with Ken Griffey Jr. in the two spot. The top of our lineup looks pretty good. I get to use one of my better pitchers, so let's go. Okay, first Diamond Dynasty game of the year. If you guys are enjoying the video and want to see more of this, and if you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button. I'll be doing quite a bit of this Diamond Dynasty and Conquest on MLB The Show. Had a good time playing it last year and hope to just do more of it this time around. Now, this is my second game I've played of the show so far. I have... Uh, a video going up on my main channel at some point today as a nice spinning throw is made to get Nunez out at first. So I have a little bit of a warm-up today, and I'm trying to get used to this fisheye cam review. Here we go, Ken Griffey Jr. And these, uh, these uniforms are not all that inspiring. Certainly not. Here we go, Griffey in the gap. Get down. First hit of the year is a Ken Griffey Jr. home run. Very fitting. The kid goes yard. And we're up one nothing here in the first inning. Going left center. Just left that up. Easy pitch to drive right there. Thank you very much, Minnesota. It's a great team to, to face off when your team is not so good. Dustin Pedroia now. I think I like his stance. I'm familiar with it. Ooh, that leg kick, though. I have to get used to that timing. Now, I did not uh, look at if you can create a player still in Diamond Dynasty. I assume so. I didn't even do that last year. I was going to save it for some point. 
never got around to it. So once I find that, I might create a player like today and maybe get some better jerseys. Here's Pedro Alvarez, extreme right shift. Come on, Pedro, let's go the other way. Yeah, left center. That's going back. That is gone. Two home runs in our very first inning of Diamond Dynasty. Are we done with two runs? Up, oh, got jammed a bit, hit into right, and caught for out number three. And now it's time to go to work with Scott Cashmere, but two home runs for the Polar Bears, and we're underway. All right, Danny Santana to lead off. Let's go. We have a sinker. I'm okay with the sinker. Cashmere has this cutter. Missing my spots here early. I feel like the timing on the meter, I'm not sure if it's any different, but I've kind of struggled early on with my pitching so far. For some reason, and I always use meter. I guess I rarely ever uh, pitch because I mainly play Road to the Show, which I will be trying Road to the Show here on this channel. I want to see what the story elements are all about and create a new player and see if we can get another series going here. So it could be plenty of baseball, and there will be a lot of it this week. So stay tuned. I'll have plenty of Diamond Dynasty, and I'll get Road to the Show underway as well later today at some point. Didn't plan on doing much today besides creating content here on the show. There's a soft ground ball to second. Pedroia to first. One away. And we have Byron Buxton. We'll go change up here first. Oh, come on. I know Buxton strikes out too much, but you can't just not call that. See? There we go. Back to Kashmir. Out. Now it's Brian Dozier. Dozier's my favorite twin to hit with. Miguel Sano would be my favorite, but it's either a home run or a miss, and too often it's a miss. So I'll try to build a team different than the one I had on the last game. It was weird getting Nunez as my topper card because I wanted to, to have new players, but at least they have like Pedroia and some others. I wonder what that Pedroia is going for on the market though on day one. Those golds have to be pretty valuable. It might be worth uh, flipping those golds I picked up. Uh-oh. What are we doing here? Why are we backing up? Let's get this third out and go home. All right, Miguel Sano, here's the change. Not bad. Is he going to throw it? There we go. Echevarria on to first, and the inning is over. Oh, I just realized I don't have my same relievers now. I always liked having the, the relievers I had on the last game. So now I have to figure out... I could go with Yimi Garcia. He was the one with all the velocity, right? Or the break? I think so. Can I see uh, ratings here? He had all the break. Get strikeouts. Okay. We'll see if Garcia can be my new go-to reliever. Last year it was Roberto Osuna. Ripped into right. That's extras if you get running. 55 speed. Come on now. I'm not impressed. He was like walking out of the batter's box. So that's Josh Reddick with the base hit. Now with Danny Echevarria. I got to keep saying it or I'm going to forget how to say it. So, Oh, this is a nice stance. Slightly closed. Elbow up. I can work with that. Upstairs, though. Now with the road to the show I plan to create for this channel, I want to actually do a power hitter. Normally I'm this contact hitting fast outfielder. It's going to be very different this time around. Something I've never done. Oh. That was not ideal contact. Cameron Rupp. 260 pound catcher. Got any power? 55 versus right. He's only 47 contact. I like the stances I have on this team so far. They all look like stances you could crush with. But one down here. I'm worried about a double play. Going to deep right. That'll slice into the seats. All right, 0-2 count. Not liking this, but I get a good pitch and foul it off. I don't like falling behind in the count when a guy has five pitches because it could be a variety of breaks and speeds. I get a little nervous in that situation. Up the middle, though. Base hit. Reddick, get going. You didn't get your double. Now you're going to get to third. Come on. Josh Reddick is safe. 
We're gonna pinch hit Wilmer Flores, one of my strongest hitters, and I didn't have him start because Echeverria was going to be the guy at shortstop. So Wilmer Flores comes off the bench. He's got 80 power, I think, versus righties. Runners at the corners. And off the pitcher to third. And Sano gets the out. An awkward play there. We score a run on it, though. Flores drives in one. Now Eduardo Nunez back to the top. I'm not sure if base hit scores the runner at second, but let's give it a shot. Now the 1-0. Down the middle and to first base. Maurer takes a hit away. And we'll go and try pitching again. All right, Yimi Garcia. 6'1", 220, 26 years old. And we're going to be focused mainly on that slider of his. The velocity on his pitches isn't going to be overpowering anybody. What's that clock in at? 94 is not bad, okay? He gets a lot of Ks per nine, so this is ideal here. I think he can play the Roberto Osuna role for me. Let's get that slider down and in. Let's go! Strike three! Now Max Kepler. Start him off with a fastball. We got to play here. We got to play here. Get that! Two down here in the, what are we, in the second inning? I believe so. Now it's Rosario. Or Escobar, my bad. Eduardo Escobar. On to short, though, and Echeverria to first. Let's go tack on a couple more. Ken Griffey Jr. leads us off after a solo homer in the first. Let's go to that right field porch now. Let's not work so hard. Oh, man! Ken Griffey Jr. to right center and gone. That was a power swing. That was... I just wanted the home run and nothing else. Third homer of the game, second for Griffey. I feel like I can retire Griffey now. I mean, he's two for two with two homers. It doesn't get better from there. We turned on another one. Ah, uh, not quite as deep this time. Now, Pedro Alvarez. I believe he had uh, my other home run. We have two on the day for Griffey, one for Alvarez. Man, I just want to hit against this shift. Can you go down third base? That'd be cool. Up for nothing, and I'm trying to sit back. I'm trying to be, like, purposely a little bit late because I want to go against the shift. I know that it's not going to work, probably. One and two. And this is drilled to center. Back to the wall, and... It's gone! Oh, nope, it's not. Off the top of the wall. Nearly two two-homer games in a little game of conquest here. Instead, we get a triple for Alvarez. They're going to pull Gibson now. Here comes Tyler Duffy. Mike Napoli. What do we got here? 71 power? Okay. And that was one to turn on. We pop it up into shallow left center. That is not going to tag the runner up. Come on, Josh Reddick. We don't want this hitting to be done yet. Let's tack on one more. Reddick into right center. That'll score our fifth. To the wall it goes, as this time, Reddick is going to get his double. It should be your second. A Dani Echeverria. I like this stance. This is going to be, he's going to be one of my best players. This stance is money. Oh, don't swing at that. Get going to third, though, Reddick. And get safe. Oh, go home. Yes. Is that an RBI for Echeverria? How do the rules in baseball work? That is embarrassing. How do you have a wild pitch and an error? Six nothing now. Oh, outside. And I thought I could drive that the other way. All right, the 0-2 to Echeverria. And I swing at one in the dirt. Should have known that was coming. So we go up 6 nothing. Now it's time to slam the door on this one. We're just going to stay with Yimi Garcia. I want to see him get a couple more strikeouts if we can. 
But a very smooth game here. Our first one against the Twins in Conquest. We're on veteran difficulty, though, and I like to play most of my games on All-Star. But uh, if you can play on veteran, you got to play like all these games. You might as well play some on vet, especially to uh, at least warm up here first game. Joe Mauer. Swinging first pitch. This is not the real Joe Mauer. This is an imposter. Man, Garcia's feeling it. Look at that meter. I like how they introduced so many ways to pitch, or multiple ways to pitch, but the tried and true way is this meter. It's the best. Oh, come on, Joe. Two and two. We're going that slider. Same spot with it. Ah, oh, backing him off. Trying the slider again. And that's in the gap. Garcia giving up a big double, at least. Round rule double. So a runner in scoring position for Danny Santana. Ooh, just got a piece of the outside. I wish he had one more pitch, like a curveball or something. He's got all that break, and I have to only use it on a slider. We get our second out, though. One out from victory here to go 1-0 with the Minnesota Polar Bears. Uh, name is not finalized. We're in alpha with that. All right, Byron Buxton. I like Buxton, but I got to strike him out. Oh, come on. Give me that strike. It's 6 nothing. Just, you want to go home, right? Into right. Got it! Laying out for it, Josh Reddick. I had a pretty good game here. That was fun. I wasn't even sure if I had to dive there, but it worked out nicely. Josh Reddick makes the play. We win 6 nothing. We hit, uh, what, four homers? Three homers? Two with Griffey. Reddick goes two for two. Not too bad there for the first Diamond Dynasty game of the year. There's your player of the game, Ken Griffey Jr. Simple, very simple stat line. Two solo home runs. We had seven hits as a team. And oh, leveling up here, getting all sorts of cool stuff. Polar Bears win in three innings. And now the free card, I forgot about the free card. Give me Gomez. No, bye Gomez. Matt Bush. All right, Matt Bush. So here's how the board looks now. We take one of the Twins' territories. Now, I think I'll work to capture the Twins' stronghold first because I like to work toward whatever their great achievement in this game is. But then, to switch things up, we're going to head west. We're going to go to Colorado. We're going to try beating the Rockies and then work on Seattle, San Francisco, and then kind of loop back around. We're going to go counterclockwise with this. Once we get to the East Coast and the Midwest, they'll get a little bit more messy, but I at least want to go play some different teams to begin. So there's something in here called events, but it's not available until April 4th, which I think is opening day or the day after opening day. So we'll come back to that in around a week. Oh, so it looks like now you have to conquer an entire division, so I can't just go beat the twin stronghold and be done with it. So I may have to rethink my strategy a little bit, but I still want to go out west and play more of those teams. I did get a couple of these done, though. So I wish it would tell you. Maybe it does somewhere. I don't know. But I get some XP here and some stubs. A few different times here. 1,050, 1,050. Not bad. All right, well, that was a fun first episode. Hope you guys enjoyed this debut Diamond Dynasty episode in MLB The Show 17. We had a fun first game. Three home runs, two by Ken Griffey Jr. What did you guys think? Let me know down below in the comment section. Let me know what you would like to see from this series. And if you enjoyed the video and want to see more of my content, subscribe and check out the rest of the videos here on my channel. Thanks for watching, everybody. More MLB The Show 17 coming later today. I'll see you guys then. Have a great day.